Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Balan Brands, and today I'm gonna to show you how to add a new page to your WordPress website using Elementor. So um, it's kind of a dual purpose video because adding a page to your website is a particular way, but then your WordPress website, but then also using Elementor is just an, an add-on to it. So we're really gonna go through both steps. Uh, so this video helps either way. But um, what I have here is I'm, I have a website up. This is one of our demo sites for our real estate websites. And um, I am currently logged into the administration section already. So you'll actually see here up on the top. Now, if I, if I just logged into my website, usually it pulls up the dashboard. Um, from here, I could go to pages and then click on add new and kind of go that direction. Um, but another way to do it is when I visit the website, there's also a quick little add new option up here. Now you're always going to have an add new post, media, and page. Um, depending on your themes and other things, that plugins that you have, you might have other things like landing page, templates, reviews, showcase. So there's different uh, things that you might see. So let's not get thrown off there. Uh, but I do also want to qualify that we want to make sure that we're setting up what we want to. And in this case, it's, it's a page specifically. Um, if I wanted to set up a new um, or add a new blog post to my website, of course, I would go to add new post instead of page. But we're gonna do like a sample of just a static page. So something that's just more informative. Uh, we want people to be able to see it on our website. So we're gonna add it to the page, but or to the website. But after we do that, we also need a link to it. Uh, we don't have to, but of course, that's probably the point by creating this page is that people can access it from the website when they visit. So we're gonna go through both those steps here now. So I'm gonna first click on add new and I'm gonna choose page. So add new page. Now this is gonna take me back to the administration section um, of the website. And we're gonna fill out a few specific details here right on this page. Um, and then we're gonna finish the page using Elementor Page Builder, which is something that we install for our customer base. So the first thing we do here is we're gonna go ahead and add a title. So new page, we'll just call it new page. Um, and then now this is where I make choices. So if I'm gonna simply just maybe have a block of text and that's it, I don't need anything um, I don't need anything fancy. I'm not trying to do specific layouts, things like that. Then I might just go ahead and click on new page, or I'm sorry, just start typing here my actual um, paragraph that I want to have on the page or my, my content. Uh, this is using just the traditional Gutenberg content blocks that are built into the WordPress platform. Uh, now, the purpose of this video is to also introduce the Elementor aspect of it. So, um, so I'm not going to enter that there. I'm going to do it on the next stage, which is in Elementor. But the other things we're gonna look at is uh, if you have other plugins installed like Yoast SEO, we can start to uh, populate that information. Um, and then over on the right-hand side, by default, you know, it might say, here's your block if I'm gonna actually start typing more into that block. Um, but what I'm looking for is the page. So we have a summary, we've got visibility, whether it's public or not, uh, publish immediately once we're ready to publish. Um, this shows the URL. Now you'll see it says auto draft, but once I have a title in there, it typically will change that. So if I click on it, it usually will change it to whatever the title is. So it said auto draft, but really now it's new page, but I can change this too. Um, I can, I can, you know, have it as part of a directory or move where it's at. But in this case, we're just going to go ahead. It's called the permalink and we're just going to use what it says, new page. So it'd be whatever your.com slash new page. All right, pretty straightforward, not too bad. Um, then who the author is, if we're changing that, it's less relevant who the author is when you're not doing blog posts and displaying the author if you had other writers, but, um, but that's defaulted anyway, so don't really have to mess with it. And then we have down here, again, some Yoast information. Uh, featured image, that's something we can set as well. Now the featured image doesn't show up on the page, but it would show up if someone were to share the page, let's say to social, or via text message. So a featured image could be something worth uh, populating there. Uh, excerpt is something that you can do. You can see it's optional. It's part of a search engine optimization, things like that. So if you want, uh, when it's found on search engines for it to have something you know more specific, uh, we can do that here in the excerpt. We can also do that here with the Yoast SEO plugin if you have that plugged in where you can define what the actual meta description is as well. Um, discussion, that's if you're allowing comments. We don't recommend allowing comments at this point online. Unfortunately, there's just too many bots, too much spam goes on. We don't see that it serves a purpose um, in particular unless your business specifically calls for that. 
Uh, then we have things like page attributes. So is it going to be under another page? Is it a sub page of a page that already exists? Uh, we're going to leave this just top level. We're not going to change anything here. And then again, um, we have another plugin installed for tracking analytics. So uh, we have that special thing here, but you would not normally see that yourself if that's not already installed on your website. So we'll just leave it alone. All right, so now I've filled out basically the things that matter as far as the page structure is concerned on my web page. So now I'm just gonna simply click edit with Elementor. So yes, I wanna leave the page. Okay, so now it's gonna load the page in Elementor. So you'll see it carried over the title, so that's fine, because um, I already specified that. But now I have all my widgets and everything that I can do, whatever I'd like to here with the page. So in this case, I'm just gonna pull over, uh, I don't need a heading, because I already have the heading here for new page. I just wanted a simple paragraph on this one. So I drag over the text editor, and you'll see it has the lorem ipsum. Um, so we'll just change that. This is where the text goes, okay? Um, and then maybe I want to do an image after that, or uh, or no, let's do a video. Let's say I want to have a YouTube video um, explaining the process. So I drag that over. You'll see I just paste in a YouTube URL for that video to play. And then, you know, we'll just call this the new page. So that's all I want to do. Um, obviously, I can build this out much more sophisticated and uh, more detailed, but I just wanted to use this as an example um, of how we build the page and how we add it. So I'm going to simply click Publish. And now it says I can have a look. So if I click have a look, it then opens in a new window. It says new page. This is where the page goes. It's got the, the proper URL structure up there uh, when I click on it. New dash page, that's what I specified. Um, this is the new page that I'm looking for and working with. So that's it. The new page is now created. Now the trick is, is where does it exist? Uh, where do we want to link it up? So. Um, let's just say I want to put it up here in the navigation. Now I can put a link to it anywhere. I could go to the home page, edit the page, make a button that clicks through to it. Um, but I want to do it more like an actual, you know, I want everybody to see it, want it, one of my main navigation items. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually go under, um, we can do a couple different things. We can edit with Elementor. Um, so if we're in Elementor, I'll just go ahead and click edit with Elementor. It loads the page up again for us. And now when I hover over this section, you'll see this little header with the pencil on it because this is all part of, when I have this little, this kind of the greenish color, that means I'm editing something that affects other pages as part of the template. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit header. It kind of reloads this little section now to give me little pencil icons around the um, elements that are in the header. So here, I'm trying to add it here, new page. Let's just say we're gonna throw it at the end. So now if I click edit, it's gonna tell you it's a global widget and it's locked. Okay, that's how this particular theme, how we build it. In this case, I'll just go ahead and click edit and it's saying the menu is under primary navigation. So now I showed this to you because I wanted to kind of explain, you can always find your way through where you're going through the section, but navigation is actually controlled in the main WordPress admin, not through Elementor specifically. So it says here, go to the menu screen to manage your menu. So it gives us a nice little quick link that opens in a new window that takes us here to the menu screen. Now, another way to get there is if I would have just simply come here and I went into the admin and I go under appearance menus. That's ultimately where we ended up. So you don't have to click on Elementor and then edit with Elementor and then click on the menus and then have it bring here. You could just go right into the dashboard, go under appearance menus. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I just want to kind of show you it's the same same thing there. Now in this case, uh, this shows navigation. So there's multiple navigation, uh, usually multiple sets of navigation set up, but in this case, it's primary navigation that we're changing. I can tell because it's I see it's you know these are the same ones that are there. And now I want to add the new page to it. So you'll see what happens here. We have pages, and it it actually shows most recent. So because we just built it, it's right here on top, which is awesome. I can also just view all, and it'll give me all of them. You'll see it's here too or I can actually search for it because I know the name of it and I can start to type in new and it'll pull up new page. Um, it's pulling up about us because that also has a uh, new in the, in the page itself. But um, so lots of different ways that we can get it. So I'm just gonna go to most recent, click on new page and then add to menu. So by default, it just throws it right at the bottom of the, of 
you know, the, or at the end of the navigation, I'll say, which is great. Um, I can move it around if I want. I can actually make it underneath another page just by dragging and dropping. So um, that's an option as well, but I'm just gonna leave it here at the end. Now, when I click on it, I can also then change the actual name. So maybe instead of new page, uh, we can call this resources. Um, I want it to show up that way. And then I can move it up one or under contact or to the top. Like there's lots of different little short links to do that if I wanted to. So now I've got that renamed and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on save menu. So now that I've done that, let's back out of this one, reload the page and there we go, resources. So I call the resources, it's still referred to as new page once I go there, but that is how we add it to the website. So uh, lots of different ways to you know create new things or link to things, but I wanted to just kind of make this video to to point out specifically just adding a new page to the website, if you're using Elementor, how to you know add that component into it, and then of course, once you've built a new page, how to actually link it up in your navigation. So if you have any questions on that or anything else regarding your websites, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at